Yo, what's good with y'all? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a server message every time a player joins the game. Like, it's going to be an individual message that only appears on that player screen when they join the game. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. As you guys can see, we have started GUI right here. We're going to click insert, and we're not going to use a regular script. We're going to use a local script because as we only want this to happen to players when they join the game and only on their screen. So we're gonna first want to make a variable. We're gonna we're gonna do local players, and then we're gonna do equals game get surface players, and then we're gonna do enter twice and stuff. And then we're gonna do we're gonna make a function. We're gonna do on player added parentheses player, not players player. And then enter, and then if you guys remember my old tutorial from a few weeks ago about how to send server messages then you guys are going to remember what we're about to do so this this tutorial should be pretty simple for you but yeah if you if you haven't it's okay i'm gonna walk you guys through it so yeah here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do game get service starter gui colon set core parentheses quotation marks chat make system message and for anyone who didn't watch the video make sure you spell this exactly how it's spelled like capitals lowercase is case instead of you if you accidentally capitalize or lower lowercase or whatever one of the letters this will not work at all but yeah you want to do you want to do that and then from, and then over here you want to do comma on oh my back you want to do comma then you want to do, I'm gonna do like a, I call this a special bracket, but yeah, you guys get it. Then you want to click enter. You want it to be like that. Pretty simple. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna actually put like, we're gonna script like what we want the message to say. So we're gonna do text equals parentheses quotation marks, and we're gonna do server in all caps. And we're gonna just put brackets in it, and then we're gonna put a colon and a space. So it's a space in between the server and the actual message. And then we're gonna go outside of the parentheses, we're gonna space, two dots. This lets the game, this lets the script know basically like the game that we wanna like, we wanna, we're separating the message with something else that we're trying to call. And knowing that we're not just trying to, we're not just trying to print something, we're actually gonna call something. Because we're gonna call player, not players, player, player dot name. This, this is gonna tell the game to get the name of the player that just joined the game. Player dot name. Another two dots. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do quotation marks again. Then a space has entered the game. You can obviously change this to whatever you want. You could do has joined the game or or player name. You could be like player name and then welcome to the game you know it's completely up to you but you guys get the gist of it but yeah i'm gonna do it like that then you're gonna want to do a semicolon enter then you're gonna want to do font you're gonna want to do enum dot font and then you guys can obviously make this what you want whatever you want it to be but i would recommend source and the bold as it looks the best in chat it just it's readable and it's easy it looks nice yeah then we're gonna want to do semicolon font size equals enum dot font size dot size once again you guys can choose whatever you guys want i would just recommend size 18 as once again it looks nice then semicolon again and then for the color this is the color of the font we're going to do color three once again you guys can choose whatever you want i would just recommend doing it in white as it's just readable and it's simple easy yeah so color fit a new 255 three times for all three coordinates and that basically translates to just all white yeah <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to line line 10 which is the end we're gonna do enter we're gonna connect this now we're gonna do players dot player added so that this only happens when a player joins the game we're gonna do connect and on player added and then we're going to delete those and then boom now we've connected it so it'll do this whenever a player joins but now we need to make it so it's like the game knows to not only do this but to also do this and grab their name you have to basically 
we've connected it to run this function but we just have to connect it to run where it gets the player's name that's like the, i guess you can see like the extra work that the function isn't able to do so we're going to do insert skip two lines <clears throat> we're going to do we're going to do four and then we're going to do underscore comma player not players player the, then we're going to do in pairs, then parentheses, in parentheses, we're going to do players, get players, and then we're just going to leave that as is. We're going to click enter, so it'll automatically do, uh, just put do for you. You're going to go to the next line, then you're going to do, then you're just going to hook it up on player added, and then you're going to want to do player. You want to make sure you put player and not players because I'll show you guys in a second, actually. I'll show you guys right now. Here's what happens if you were to put players. Here, we'll test it and I'll show you guys. Yeah, here's what would happen. It would say players into the game because players is where it just gets the service of players, but not actually the name of the player. But now if we were to do we were to switch this to player and then click play. It's a spy genetic into the game. And then it would be servers to make it look just like a server message. You see, looks all nice. Looks just like if, a, if another player was to type or whatever. Yeah, like just another message, just like the Roblox chat. But yeah, that's basically how you make server messages uh, whenever someone joins the game and, and only so that they can see it on their end. But yeah, uh, as always, if you guys have any questions or problems or anything, just leave it in the comment down below. I will reply. I will reply. Um, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if this was able to help you and stuff. And as always, I will leave the script in the description if you just want to uh, copy and paste it, just so you can get it over with. I understand. But yeah, though, hope this was helpful. And yeah, I'll see y'all later.